guys, so today I thought we could have a little delve. Didn't know what to do with my hands then. Delve into my Google search history, which is a bit of a risky move, let's be honest. And I thought I could see what I Googled over the last year, uh, except the incognito tabs. That's just between me and the Illuminati. I mean, I've done it before. It's usually funny because in the middle of the night, I Google some pretty weird stuff. I'll just wake up like... I wonder if whales sneeze. Now I need to know if whales sneeze. Sorry, video postponed. Whales have developed a way to have complete control over their breathing so they do not sneeze while underwater. So I asked members of my channel to throw some random dates at me and I thought I could see what I googled on that day. Uh, oh, if you want to be a member of the channel, just click join. You get a little cactus next to your name. So let's flip and do this. All right, first, <laughs> this is when I was ill and being a total hypochondriac. Dizzy shivering. Cold versus flu. I was like, do I have the cold? Do I have the flu? Am I dying? Help. Shivering hot. <laughs> Deaf in one ear. It's like all the symptoms started stacking up on each other. Temperature for hospital. Yeah, I got, <laughs> my fever got worse and I was like, am I ready for death? No, turns out I was just a hypochondriac. <laughs> so this one, this is something me and Dan were talking about. Do furries have flaps? Wait. Sounds really bad. We were wondering, fursuits are pretty intense, but what happens when they need to go to the toilet? Is there a flap they can open or do they have to like climb out of the whole suit? I was just curious. Turns out Google didn't yield the full result. So I also Googled, <laughs> do furries have flaps? Toilet. I bet you're damn curious of the answer. Wow, okay, Google goes directly to flaps for other reasons. So <laughs> <laughs> Maybe don't Google that. Good news is it depends on the suit. Some people hold it in, some people got a flap. If I had one, I'd need a flap because I pee all the time. <laughs> I'm peeing right now. No, <laughs> uh, I just think I'd want the opportunity to be able to pee. This is too much. Buy holoscope cube. Oh, this was something I saw on Instagram. It was so cool. It's like a cube, obviously, but the corners are mirrors and then you look through it and you basically see the end of the universe. So of course I wanted one, but I couldn't find a place to buy it. So there's a gap in the market, you cube makers. Riverdale Gargoyle King. I was just like, what the hell? What 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 is this show now? Can fish cry? <laughs> it's a genuine question. I mean, I had a fish. How do you know if it's sad? Can't see the tears because it's just mixing with the water. Fish can yawn, cough, and even burp, but they don't cry. If there's any fish watching this, don't be afraid to show your emotions. Fish yawn compilation. Oh my God, they do a proper yawn. Look at that. It's making me want to yawn. Does anyone yawn just watching that fish yawn? I just have to stifle a yawn. That's the most I've ever said, yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Game of Thrones finale day. I mean, I need to plan for the most important day of my life. Running in the cold burns lungs. That's me again, hypochondriac. I was like, why are my lungs filled with acid after running? I'm just not built for exercise. <laughs> long haired animal, black. Long haired sheep. What? <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Best pen for doodling. Ooh, this was my planner. This was when I was making my doodle. Oops, uh, that was my phone. Where is it? Here it is. So when I was making my doodle planner, which is this, if you've not seen it, it has doodles by me on every single page. So I was thinking, what's the best pen to use? Before Christmas, I just went into some kind of zen state, just making 52 different doodle pages. Anyway, this is super relevant because the sponsor of this video, Honey, which they should totally use as their new jingle, <laughs> has allowed me to give you a 30% discount on my planner. And if you don't know yet, Honey is an online shopping tool which you can install by clicking the link below and it takes two clicks and it just goes into your browser. So then whenever you're shopping, Honey will be like, hey, you've got a discount that you could be using that you might not know about, or you might not know the code and it just automatically knows what all the codes are. And I've now added that into all three of my amazing fill shops. So it's on the worldwide, the Australian, and the US store. So if you add a planner to your basket, let's do it now, Honey will kick in and be like, hey, discount time, and then you'll get 30% off your planner. And I'll be doing this for all future discount codes as well, so you don't even need to worry about seeing my tweet or anything because it'll automatically be up there in the Honey tab. I've been using it since I talked about it in my last video and I've saved money shopping at Topman, you can use it on booking.com and also on my website as well, the most important one. <laughs> so yeah, click the link below to install Honey and then you can start making some savings. What else we got? Shiba Inu Corgi Mix. Was this when we did it in The Sims? It's very fox-like, isn't it? It seems more sheep than Corgi. Black liquid. Do I want to know? Why was I Googling that? James Charles Palette. Uh, I Googled this because I didn't know what a palette was and I just saw loads of people on Twitter like, the palette is out. I was like, what the hell is a palette? Now I know what a palette is. It's a makeup thing. Phil Lester. Wow, self-obsessed much. Vulgar wasp. What's vulgar? What vulgar wasp? Oh, this, 
when you Google me, it says I've written two books, which I have, but then it says I've written a third book called <laughs> The Vulgar Wasp. And I'm just like, what the hell is that? Where did that come from? I think another Phil Lester, probably a much more intelligent one, has written a scientific book about wasps and Google thinks it's me. Uh, Google, I know you're watching, didn't write the book. Go! Was I okay? Ancient Naked Olympics. Should, do I want to know? Let's not ask. Peach emoji. Why did I do that? I think it might have been a video. Anyway, I put some peaches on the butts of some Olympic athletes. Where is Domino's the Sizzler? Oh my god, remember the book, muk, book mang? <laughs> the mukbang. When we went on about the Sizzler for like 20 minutes, it was probably the best advert for Domino's ever. Well, the next week, they went and bloody got rid of the Sizzler, aka the best pizza ever. So if you want to do me a service, Go tweet Domino's saying, bring back the Sizzler. Demonic monkeys. Um, I, I, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Snub-nosed monkeys. I was trying to find those <laughs> really weird monkeys. It's like Voldemort got it on with a monkey and this is like a butter cadaver. They're weirdly cute though. Sorry for saying they're like Voldemort. There's like 500 tweets, which I didn't make. I think Dan was on my laptop because I asked for this specific pair of shoes for my birthday and apparently they were sold out everywhere in the world. And thanks to my clown feet, no one ever has size 11. But he found the final pair for my birthday present. And I love them so much. It's a NASA slash Vans collab. Look at this. They're so beautiful. Well, I'm full NASA today, I just realized. Uh, yeah, and it's got loads of these removable patches so I can stick my own patches on the shoes. And I can't wait to have the swaggiest feet ever. Thanks, Daniel. Dog in a sink. Don't know what that was. Funeral music. Wow, I'm having a bit of an emo day. Bloom Troy. Why was I Googling it and not Spotifying it? I don't know. But it was great. Candle wick length. That's the thing. Trim your wicks. Ow. Okay, I can't show you the candle. <laughs> I was going to show you. Uh, yeah, if you don't trim your wick, which sounds like a bit of a euphemism, you risk having a load of black smoke come out of the candle and ruin the side of the glass and also set fire to your house. Rihanna horoscope. This was the other day. It's the thing where you Google Rihanna and then the date that you were born and then her clothes represent you, I guess. This was mine. I don't know what it is about this picture, but I feel like it does represent me emotionally. Maybe the Rihanna horoscopes are real. Oh my God. Beaver anal gland. Be <laughs> Sorry. Beaver anal gland. Uh, beaver anal gland vanilla. Apparently vanilla sometimes is made out of the anal gland of a beaver. So whenever you're eating that ice cream, that's what you should be thinking about. Smell burning, but no fire. Was I having a medical issue? Probably. Two bros chilling. Oh, that was, <laughs> me and Dan had this huge debate over whether it was two bros chilling in a hot tub five feet apart or six feet apart. I was on team five feet apart, which was right. Dan was on team six feet and we settled it with a Google. I won all his wealth. Funny dancing kid. What, which funny? Oh, this kid. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this dancing video of this kid. Um, it's amazing. Uh, he represents everything I want to be in life. Me and Dan are obsessed with this kid. Finger movements. Oh, I was still trying to find the kid because of this. Cute dog. Anime squid moment. What does that mean? <laughs> was that meant to be an incognito search? Tom Holland wiki. I mean, who hasn't Googled that? Brown plant. <laughs> by <laughs> Dying cactus. This guy's doing all right. He's still breathing. Avril Lavigne clone. Yeah, did I talk about this in my last one? I got obsessed with that conspiracy theory that Avril Lavigne got replaced by a clone and there's loads of pictures of her with changing moles and stuff. Markiplier e-meme. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw this on Tumblr. I was like, where did this, how did this start? Um, it's a beautiful meme. What flavor is root beer? Common ingredients in root beer are vanilla, cherry, tree bark. Who, who's making it thought, oh, I'll just shove a bit of tree in there. Uh, winter green. Molasses, anise, licorice root, cinnamon, what the F? It's just everything. Honey, and the primary ingredient is sassafras flavor. Is that a thing? Is the root beer company just like, yeah, we put some sassafras in there just to throw us all off. We don't really get universe. Universe? What's wrong with me? You, root beer, why, how, why do I say universe instead of root beer? We get dandelion and burdock, which I think is a similar vibe. I don't know if it's sassafras though. Why is my skin dry? Yeah, I've been getting really dry skin here, just specifically here. Nowhere else on my face. Just a bit of dry skin there. Um, Shall I do a face mask? Will that help? Is there one in this drawer? Yeah. Puppy pore control. This puppy character print sheet is enriched with extracts to help nourish and hydrate your face. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's so cold and damp. I feel like they put 100% too much liquid on these things. Clarice. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it kind of stinks. Everyone just unsubscribed. Oh, it's going to my mouth. 
It's going in my mouth. This is a dog from the Nightmare Realm. This is me wearing the skinned face of a dog. Uh, <laughs> it's quite relaxing though. So I'll just like lie here for 10 minutes and put some spa music underneath. If you enjoyed looking at my Google searches, give me a thumbs up and I'll do it again. I've got loads more, obviously. Make sure to check out Honey if you want to grab the Doodle 30% off discount off my planner. There is a link below. I hope you're having a good day and I will see you very soon. Goodbye. This is horrifying. I'm so sorry.